What is up, YouTube? Came in here. Hope everyone is doing excellent today. As always, I am just living the dream. So today, we've got a couple of situations on our hand in Factorio. Uh, our copper production is not keeping up whatsoever with our demand. So we need to get that fixed right away uh, so that we can continue on with the production of all of our science bottles. We also need to finish up, finally finish up, the automation of our blue bottles. I've already got some of those on hand. And then as you can see, I've got just a few more crafting that'll take care of all of our automation needs for that. I also want to get um, these right here, our steel furnaces upgraded to electric furnaces so that our steel production will be much faster. That way we don't have to worry about anything over there. Want to get everything lit up. Um, I also going to have to take care of some power needs again. Uh, there's lots of power demand just going on right now. So we'll want to get that taken care of as soon as possible. And then I also want to move the science around just a little bit to accommodate the, uh, the input of the blue bottles. Right where this is right now. It's, it's not really gonna, we're not really gonna be able to easily route this, the blue bottles in. So we'll wanna get that taken care of before we automate that. And then our coal production uh, is gonna need a little bit of an upgrade because we're gonna wanna upgrade all of this real quick. So then there is one thing that I have noticed. Um, I've been kind of watching these and the temperature seems to drop off from time to time. So I'm going to go ahead and add an extra burner to each. And then I'm also going to add an extra row of uh, steam engines. There we go. Got all of that. Let's get this taken care of as well. You can hear them steam engine whining whenever I take off one of those rows. Start working overtime. Let's go ahead and get these fueled up. Right there. And squirt these right here. Oh, nope, that's not the one that I wanted. I want these. The reason I'm using the burner here is because they just, these burners don't really need a whole lot of coal. So it's, it works out perfectly right here. They keep up with it just fine, the demand. All right, there we go. Add one more there. And flip this around right about there. Oh, let's go ahead and get our research started. I just noticed I, I wanted to pause it for a minute to, uh, to show you all what we would gotten done. I completely totally spaced it. Oh, look at there. All 100 science packs. Very nice. So we're going to go ahead and plop these in here. There we go. And get our research started. Uh, what we want is automation 3. That'll allow us the uh, third class, um, the third tier of assembly machine. Now that we got that started, that's going to take a few minutes to do. So we'll we got some other stuff and things we want to get done before then. While well, it's doing its thing, there we go. All right, and get this set up right over here as well. There's four of those. Uh, we're going to want four more of these. There we go. Uh, Bend those around. Plop these down. There we go. Get them hooked up to some water. Now, if we add any more of these engine, steam engines, the words are hard, um, we're going to need to add even another water pump. Because right now, this water pump is struggling to keep up with our current demands that we have on it. So... But uh, for right now, it's doing just fine. Um, up here, I want to get the automation of both raw and cooked stone so that we don't have to worry about that anymore. 
Um, so I'm just going to plop this down right here. This is a good little vein to do that with. Uh, we're not going to need a ton of it, but it is going to be useful later on. I went ahead and made an electric furnace for up here. In case you want to know what how those electric furnaces are made, uh, they require 15 steel plates, 5 advanced circuits, and 10 stone bricks. So, And I've got a couple of chests made up just for this. Plop one there and there. Go ahead and get that one there, that one there, and this guy here. If I was close enough. There we go. Get some power routed up right over here. Eudemus. Alright, excellent day. And there. Now we have automated the creation of stone and stone bricks. So, now that that is done, uh, let's go ahead and get our coal taken care of since I'm already over here in this neck of the woods. There we go. Run this cable right down to here. Um, I'm going to fix this real quick so that it's two lines instead of just half the conveyor. There we go. And that should filter on down to there. Let's add some light over here. It's kind of dark. There we go. Plop one down right over here, too. And get these bad boys powered up. Excellent. Come on down here. Uh, we're not going to need these guys anymore. Awesome. Now let's get our copper sorted out. Get rid of this guy. Put some lights down. There we go. So that we can see exactly what the what we're doing. There's that. Boom, boom, boom. And let's get rid of this guy real quick. That's gonna shut everything down for just a moment, but we'll get it hooked back up. There we go. Gonna want one right there as well. And let's plop this guy right there. And this guy right there. Should be good. Awesome sauce. There we go. Alright, that should be more than enough copper production for that. So let's go ahead and upgrade these real quick. One of these bad boys there, one of these right there, and get this routed down here. Get everything powered up real quick. Excellent. All right, that should. Oh, got these. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a much better steady stream than what we had before. Oh, not quite as good as it's supposed to be, though. And that would be why I didn't get everything hooked up. There we go. That is a lot better. Hopefully we'll have a good backlog like we do over here on the iron production. Um, let's go ahead and get these furnaces upgraded. Real quick. Uh, where are they? There they are. Get these bad boys plopped down. These are so much faster. So much nicer, too. I love the way they look. All the little animations and stuff. And the devs did great on these. Alright. We've got a good amount of stuff going on down here. Everything seems to be backlogged up. And, which was exactly what I was hoping for. Um, I wanted to get everything looking just like this. So that whenever we do start the automation process... And uh, we can see exactly where we're lacking. Alright, so let's go ahead. Uh, we're still working on that, so it may take a few more minutes. 
uh, working on the automation three process we've got plenty of bottles still uh, 16 in each one probably it looks like yep okay so in the meantime um, we're going to run out of space up here real quick in fact we've almost already have uh, so let's go ahead and put a throw down a couple more tanks temporarily this is only a temporary solution um, eventually like I said once we get uh, advanced oil processing in which it takes blue bottles to research then we can turn the heavy oil and the light oil into uh, petroleum then we won't have to worry about uh, how much fluid we have or at least not as much but for now then that'll help that process out let's go ahead and get our solar farm set up uh, I've been promising this for a little while now um, I've got some solar panels made if you want to see how those are made uh, they just take some steel electric circuits or electronic circuits and copper plates and they're pretty easy and then I've got some accumulators as well they're basically batteries um, I've, those just take two iron plates and five batteries as well so let's go ahead and plop let me see here. Oh, one, two, three. I want to plump those down. There we go. That looks like a good spot. I like to do things in fives. Um, it, I don't know why. I've just always been that way. So. So anytime I set anything up like this, most likely it's going to be some sort of 5x5 five five or something like that. Um, the reason I'm doing three spaces between each one is the accumulators are a 2x2 two two structure. So um, I'm going to put them in between each solar panel. You'll see that here in just a moment once I get these placed down. So there we go. I'm going to place each one just like this. About halfway done on our Automation 3's research. Which is good. It's going good. Probably should have started it off camera and then brought y'all in whenever it's about halfway done. But yeah, At least y'all get to see what's going on now. Let's go ahead and plop these down real quick. As you can see, by the little sparks, that means that they're charging up right now. And if we hover over them, you can see over there on the right-hand side, the power going on up. And then, now that we've got those like that, we can do them just in between. And there we go, they're all hooked up. Now if we look at our power generation, uh, we will see that the accumulators are eating the most power at the moment. Once those are full, then they won't anymore uh, use up all that power. Uh, they'll provide it instead of use it. Um, maximum output is 300 kilowatts altogether. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. And now you can see our solar panels. I'm guessing the sun is probably coming up they're slowly building up um, a nice little trickle of energy as well and that'll take some of the uh, demand off of our steam engines so, and all of these are nice and full so once they're full uh, they'll stop um, doing the little particle effects around them and then once they start discharging uh, they'll do start doing the particle effects as well I'll keep an eye out for that let's go ahead and get our science hooked up over here so what I'm gonna do one, two, three, two, three, four. there we go actually I think I'm gonna do it every other one there we go that'll look that'll look a little bit cleaner I think so I'm gonna do red here uh, green here 
blue here, and then eventually the next tier is purple, uh, which is, let me see if I can find it real quick, which is this one right here, I, Alien Science Packs. Uh, the Alien Artifacts, I'm pretty sure we get those from killing these guys up here, the, the big red uh, hives. So, uh, and we should start, I'm thinking after this episode, we'll probably start working on going towards that is getting that all taken care of. So, let's go ahead and break one of these real quick. Did I just... Oh, wait, no. I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and make just a couple more. It's not going to hurt us to have six of them. While those are making up... Um, what else did I want to get taken care of? Got everything over here done. Oh, huh, yeah. I can get this. Start to automate this a little bit. So how we're going to want to do this is one right there. Space in between another one right there. Uh, these are the same size as the Automation 3. I'm just using them as a placeholder. Um, we're going to want power there. Going to want to get rid of that that and that and then that that and that and you'll see why here in just a minute we're gonna have to put a uh, a long-handed inserter to reach this third belt right here for the output <coughs> excuse me uh and then we're going to want one of these guys right there and right there uh, one of the long-handed right there, right there, and then another one of the long-handed right there, and right there. Excellent. And let's get these things powered. Put that right there, and then that right there. And get some power over to them. Oh, a little bit too far away. That's fine. Uh, I haven't exactly decided what I want to use this space for, so that'll be fine right there. I am, however, going to throw down a couple of lights here. Because it was pretty dark down here during the night, so... Move that down one. And I'm also going to throw a light down right here as well. Alright, and that should be good for that. Just remove those up real quick. Alright, looks like our copper production is doing a lot better now. It's almost a uh, good backlog. I like having a backlog of all the things, so. Alright, let's go ahead and get this routed up. for the blue bottles. Pop that down right there. This is going to have to move. Because it wouldn't have reached all the way. So. And then uh, right here. Actually, I might be able to... No. No, I wouldn't. Okay, never mind. there. Excellent. Just enough. Oh, we are going to want some more of those, though. Oh, no, we're not. we got plenty. So let's go ahead and get this routed while we're waiting on that research to get done. <coughs> Excuse me. Man, I just got all kinds of catchers in my throat today. I don't know what that's all about rid of that guy. He's not really completely necessary, so just one of those redundancies that I like to have in place. And now, let's go on up here, figure out exactly where we're going to want everything to be. Two, three, yeah. 
I like odd spacing. So we are going to want a space for the inserters. Uh, one, two lines and a space. So right there and right there. Okay, excellent. So this guy is going to go in right here, I think. And then this guy will go in right there. And then let's go this guy to right there. And this guy. Oh, more research. Let me see here. I'm thinking we're going to want to start doing military next. Um, I want to start going and killing off the enemy bases. But before that, we're going to want some cars. And a tank would be really nice, I think. Uh, so, actually, before even that, we're going to want the logistic robots. So let's go ahead and get those guys. Uh, so the electric engine, engine. Yep, there we go. Uh, oh wait, no, this guy right there. There we go. Just like that, butamus. Excellent. Yes, I like it. Now we're going to start running these guys right there. Go ahead and get these guys ran up here. I'm actually going to move that here in just a moment. Now that I think about it, that's not a very good location for those. Get rid of these science balls that I got in here. Half to there, another half to here. Put these wine bottles in here. Uh, if you just throw them back in here, they'll just automatically just uh, redistribute, redistribute, and you won't have to worry about um, setting up a chest or anything like that. And uh, it won't stop processing either until it's completely full. Let's go ahead, now that we have that research, let's make up to these bad boys. Uh, I have almost everything I need. I'm just going to need a few more circuits. There we go. So there's one. What am I missing for this one? Ah, missing a few of these guys. There we go. And two. Those are going to take a minute. Uh, to make, so go ahead and wait just a couple minutes to get those made up. Throw those in there and throw these in here. 
get rid of anything else that I happen to have picked up from plastic. Throw that right there. And did I pick up any batteries? I did not. Okay, excellent. Uh, looks like our steel furnaces are completely full. So we'll just keep the steel on us for the moment. Excellent, excellent. And we are doing good today. Got everything that I wanted to get done, done. Uh, one of our autumn uh, assembling machines are completed. Let's go ahead and get him hooked up. Right here. If I wasn't standing in the way, that might be helpful. And he's going. Man, I love these automations. I love the way the machines sound too. I mean, just look at that. And our first automated blue bottle. Oops, finally got it automated. Alright, let's see here. What else? Oh, we need to get our science back up. Okay, so let's get this sorted out up here. Two, three. Two, three. So we're going to want to run these all the way down, I believe. That should be good. Yeah, do want more of each. Um, we are going to want some more of these, actually. There we go. So, how's this going to be set up? Is one, 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 and then one, one, one. And then we will have these one, 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 and there, there, there. Excellent. Get some electricity ran up here. some light in here too. I think that might be good. There's some light right there. So let's just throw a couple lights. Uh, let's go right there. Right there. Mm, yeah, that should be fun. Don't need him anymore. As you can see, we've got the red, the green, and blue, finally. Yes. Alright. And I think it might be getting kind of close to the old wrapping up point. Let me check real quick. Uh, yeah, it's getting there. Uh, we're at about 28 minutes right now. So, ooh, more research. So, we want electric engines now. Go ahead and get that going. Let's go ahead and throw this guy right down here. Get him hooked up real quick. It looks like we got some darkness over here, so let's go ahead and get this taken care of. Light this place up really nice. Don't want no dark areas. see what we're doing now. How about them apples? Uh, let's go ahead and plop up another light right there. I like having lights all over the place. Production is really good. Uh, 
science bottle production is good. Coal production, good. Iron, it looks like everything is good to go. So, I'm thinking in the next episode we will start on thinking about going on the offensive with the aliens. Um, I think that might be the best bet. I do have it, have it, the game set up to where they don't attack first, but once we start attacking them, then they will start attacking us. So we, we need to worry about that. And I believe once, if you look on this map, um, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but there's a small little outline uh, of red, and that is our pollution that we are creating at the moment. Um, once this pollution line gets to any of these guys, they'll start looking for the cause of the pollution and they will come and find it and kill it. Or try to, at least. So we definitely want to keep a lookout for that. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is maybe set up some walls with some turrets, things of that nature. <laughs> Let me see here. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, let's go ahead and get flight taken care of. Or do I want to get this? I want to get this. A uh, couple of different reasons is mostly for the bullets. Uh, once we get those bullets, then we can start automating or we can start getting some little uh, surprise things. Uh, I'll show you that, and hopefully the next episode we'll get some automation of bullets created. We'll also get the automation of um, some turrets. Well, not the automation of turrets, but we'll get some turrets created, placed around here and there. Um, and then we'll get some walls up around everything. And, whoa, that was a quick little one, wasn't it? Let's see here. Combat Robotics is the one that we want. These things are awesome. Uh, and that is definitely what I was talking about. The little surprise. Let's go ahead and get flight researched. So that we can get our logistics robots. So next episode, what I'm thinking we'll get done is we'll start automating the process. Uh, the creation of engines. Um, because our little logistics, logistic robot friends here need flying robot frame. And which... Uh, in order to create flying robot frames, you need electrical engines. In order to create electrical engines, you need... Oh, wrong button. Let me see here. Um, you need a lubricant and an engine, plus a little bit of iron and copper. And then we also, in order to create engines, we need iron and steel. So, it's a good thing I got all that steel production set up, huh? Like I knew. Alright, so anyways, uh, that'll be it for today. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed, and take it easy.